Hello, this is a basic introduction to script map. You will presumably have been sent your login details. If you haven't, give WaveData a shout and we'll send them through if your company is subscribed. So let's log straight in and we'll go through some of the basics. Okay, the first thing to know is that you need to allow pop-ups in your browser. It doesn't matter which browser you're using. I'm using Firefox here, but you could be using Internet Explorer or Chrome or in a number of others. The way to work out how to allow pop-ups is to click the Help button and then look at the Allowing Pop-ups PDF. If you open that up, that'll guide you. It's got instructions for most of the browsers, so hopefully you'll be able to sort that. There are other PDFs here um, which might help you as well, but we're going to gradually accumulate a number of videos on YouTube which will help you as well. The next thing to think about is there's a little helicopter in the top left-hand corner. If you click on that, that serves two functions. The primary one is to change your password. The secondary one is if your company is subscribed to any of the other services, you can hop across to them using those links. To get rid of this pop-up, you click on the green background and it will vanish. The next thing, thing to think about is the data on the page is all data for England. It actually says that at the top of the page, but you can, hop, you can navigate to Scotland or, North, or Wales by clicking on the links under the country button here. So there we are. So we're now in Wales, so it says Wales. So let's go back to England just for the moment. The columns here, there are three key columns. The first one is the total cash, which is fairly obvious. The second one is items. Now that is the, and generally described as the number of prescriptions. And the third one is the total quantity. Now that tends to be the number of tablets or capsules, or it can be the number of syringes or injections or catheters. Um, the government have published data about what this figure represents, but in surgical products, it's a little bit more complicated to work it out. Okay, so if you wanted to change the date range and you were perhaps going to run a report for your territory or for a CCG or for part of the country or the whole country, the first thing to think about is the dates. So you might want to change the actual date. So let's look at a six month span now and we will see the numbers jump as we do that. So it's usually pretty quick. I'll jump back just to a single month here. The data is published by the individual countries generally about two to three to four months late. So apologies about that, but there's nothing we can do about it. Now, presumably within these molecule groupings here, you, there are the brands you want to look at. And the way to see those is to click on the molecule itself. So if we click on, on itraconazole, it will reveal that you've got Sporinox brands in there and Sporinox Pulse. So you can immediately see where the numbers are for the individual brands and the individual pack sizes. We close that up by clicking itraconazole again. We can also see there's a surgical one here, catheters. If we click on that, a whole series of brands appear and you can look at those to your heart's content. There's hundreds inside catheters, for example. And then you close that up by clicking catheters again. That's probably enough for now. More videos will be produced which will help you learn a little bit more about how to use script map. I think the next one we'll do, we'll look at territories and CCGs and that kind of thing. Thank you for your time.